What's up everybody, it's Duke back here from SportsGamers.com. We got some great Madden 20 tips for you on deck today. I'm going to continue to break down the most explosive offense in Madden 20 that's very easy to run. This is the gun, Split Close Pats. You can find this in the New England or the Miami Offensive Playbooks. Now, we got some great setups I'm going to show you guys today. We got some bombs, we got some money plays that are just going to be able to allow you guys to attack any coverage very easily. And... I do want to let you guys know that I did post some other setups yesterday, so if you guys missed out on those, I will pin a comment with a link to that video so you guys can make sure you see all of the setups. So I want to get right into it now where we left off, get right into the setups, and we're going to look first at Mesh. This is another one of my audibles. Now before I do that, I do want to quickly go over the abilities I would recommend using if you're going to run this offense. I would recommend running with an escape artist quarterback with dashing dead eye you see that's where we picked the chiefs um and then also i did do some trades here because if i was to run this offense with abilities i would definitely make sure i had a receiver ability and you see i have the slot apprentice here so i'd have a slot apprentice and i'd like to have a post lag elite and a slot matic um even a street specialist if possible then i would probably recommend having either another tight end or receiver either or with you know the route apprentice slot apprentice ability for the other side of the formation and we would like to put him on you know post lag elite um street specialist street specialist as well so if you're going to use abilities with this this is what i'd recommend now before we go any further i do want to remind you guys to please hit the subscribe button in the corner of the video subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn your notifications on when you do that you will not miss out on any of our videos when they go live you will be notified and you guys definitely don't want to miss out on the daily hot content we've been uploading. So guys, if you want any more Madden 20 tips in the meantime, if you're looking to bit, excuse me, if you're looking to get better at the game, make sure to head over to sportsgamers.com for the best Madden 20 tips and ebooks. Alright guys, so yesterday we did leave off on X Drag Trail. I showed a lot of setups for it. I have another one I want to break down before we move on to some other plays like mesh, HP wheel, etc. etc. So this setup I'm about to show you guys is for cover two, um, and it could be any sort of cover two. It could be a cloud flat cover two. It could be a soft squat cover two. Um, you know, it doesn't matter. Um, this is a meta defense, this uh, DB fire with the soft squats. People love to use this. Now, the other thing is it doesn't matter if they press, baseline, whatever. It does not matter. So here I'm going to run the soft squats, and then I'll show you an example of it versus just cloud flats. So what I do is pretty simple. I like to max protect again. Max protecting will make sure I, I get time to get this pass off. And then I have a few different options here, guys. Um, sometimes I'll keep it as, as stock and just motion this guy over right here. And this is going to give me this deep bomb, which you guys are going to notice. Look how he runs right by that DB. And even if I just get a toe tap on the sideline like that, that's a big gain. But oftentimes I can turn that up and score a touchdown. So that setup I just showed you is nice because it has a, 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 you know, the motion deep post, it has the drag, and then it has that post route. That's a really good setup I like. Um, if you guys look at the replay, you'll notice that, again, we're max protecting, so we're going to get time. But, you know, this guy right here, he runs right by the soft squat, and this is an absolute laser beam on the sideline. Now, hopefully you can turn this upfield and score a touchdown, but even if not, I mean, if you have to toe tap it on the sideline, that's cool. But the other thing I want you guys to notice is over the middle, again, we have a drag working with a post, so that's kind of going to put the user in conflict, guys. So that's a nice little uh, you know, play set up. But I have another way I like to run this play too and still have that motion deep post. So this time I'm going to use cloud flats just to show you that this works on cloud flats or soft squats. And I'm actually going to press this time just so you can see it doesn't matter if they're baseline pressed. It, you know, it works no matter what. So again, I'm going to max protect. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put this left receiver on a post and put the tight end on the hitch so now i'm gonna have a post hitch combo opposite my motion deep post so you guys can see i motion this guy over even if they follow it doesn't really matter he's gonna run right by him it's a easy it's a laser beam and you know we get that toe tap you know bam easy 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 now i will say you will get touchdowns off of this it's not always gonna be something where you know you catch it and stride and you know you, you toe tap it on the sideline Oftentimes, you can turn this up. Now, I like to have the one receiver side on the short side of the field um, when running this setup um, and motion this guy over to the short side. It just makes the throw easier. If you're making this throw on the wide sideline, uh, you might not always be able to 
uh, you know, get that throw in as easily because the throw is going to have more distance cover. This just makes it an easier throw. You guys can see there, I clicked on, rack caught it right there. I did a little swerve when I caught the ball to get myself a better rack animation, and that time I was able to score. But you see, see as soon as it's running by this guy, you can throw it, click on, rack swerve it. It's a touchdown, man. This is a great cover two beater, and it's really, really, really going to make them scared of playing cover two anytime, especially if they see that motion. So if you do that motion enough, they might not play cover two. And if they are in cover two, you might see them starting to put deep zones on the outside corner when you do that motion. And if you guys can see that, you can just do a regular motion corner route and cook them as soon as they get into that adjustment. So now that you've seen that, let's move on. So getting into mesh, this is a good play to attack any coverage. This is not really a play I like to run. If they're going to blitz, you know, seven, um, I do have another setup for that I will show you in a second here, but the first one or two setups I want to show you guys are more so if they're like sitting back rushing maybe three, four, or five guys, not really blitzing you crazy, okay? So the first setup I like to do is to block the running back on the right. I like to flat the receiver on the left, and I like to make sure that my one receiver side of the formation is on the short side of the field. The reason for that is the wheel route in this play is extremely unique. It's kind of like the wheel route I showed you guys from Mesh Post a while back. It works better on the short side of the field. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the right receiver on a hitch, and then I'm going to motion this guy over that's on the corner route across the formation to turn it into a post. And this is why I said I would really like this guy, if at all possible, to be a post flag elite because he's in the scheme going to be on corner routes and posts a decent amount of the time. Now, when you motion him over, this actually turns into post. You want to snap it right when he gets behind that receiver. And as you guys can see there, that low pass to the running back out of the backfield is it's basically unguardable. Um, once we snap the ball, you can see our motion player is right behind that receiver on the left. You guys are going to see that this flat route pulls out the flat defender, and then the post pulls any hook zones to the middle of the field. So we have an easy pocket for a low ball, and it's very, very consistent throw. You can pretty much catch this at will, guys. Very, very easy to do. Um, you know, it's not anything difficult or inconsistent. You will be able to catch this pretty much every every time, just like this, just right in this little soft spot. It's a very easy throw and catch. Now, I will say that, you know, if they use her this, that's the only way they can really stop it. That's when you're going to have the tight end over in the middle of the field working with the hitch. So, like, let's say that they man this running back up or do whatever case may be to kind of simulate him being user guarded again we're just going to block the running back on the right we're going to flat the receiver on the left i'm going to hitch the receiver on the right okay then i'm going to motion this receiver over that's on the corner route he's going to turn into a post and we're going to snap the ball basically right when he's behind that receiver on the left so if the running back is guarded you guys can throw this post and because the hitch route is going to draw the attention of the defense on the right side of the screen that post is going to be open. You guys can see here, I could have thrown it earlier in the play. Like, I could have thrown it right here. It's wide open. You guys can see that this running back actually beats the manned-up defender. This running back route is so good that it will beat a manned-up defender most of the time. Um, anyways, I could have thrown the post here, but I wanted to show you guys that if you let it cross the middle of the field, you guys can see here, the hitch is going to draw the attention of the hooks. The cloud flats and deep zones aren't going to cover this anyways. And... The mid read kind of did try to match the route here, but it's going to get beat eventually anyways for an easy throw and catch. So that's going to be effective against any zone, whether it's cover two, cover three, cover four. It doesn't really matter. Um, we can take a look at cover four. We'll do, we'll even do a different formation. Cover four drop. Same thing's going to happen. Those two guys are the money reads on this setup. Again here, we're going to do a flat to the left receiver. We're going to block our right running back. We're going to hitch the outside right receiver, and then I'm just going to motion over this corner route to turn it into a post, all right? Reason for this is because now this is a route that they have to use her, and it's an easy dot. Easy dot. You can throw it over the middle quick like that, or you can wait till it's later in the play. It really doesn't matter. But the bottom line here is the reads are really easy because I know that I either have the running back or the post every play. So basically, I just look to see who they use or guard. If they use or guard the post, well, then I know I have the running back. They user guard the running back, well, then I know they have the post. And at the same time, I still do have the flat and the hitch. If they're blitzing me crazy and I'm not expecting it, you know, maybe they just pop up out of nowhere, blitzing the whole team, not expecting it, right? Well, that's fine because at this point, I have 
you know, I have my hitch. I have my post. Like, I have plenty of just quick reads that are going to attack the defense real quick, quick as well. I mean, I honestly even have the flag. The flag could be a good read for that too. Um, but look, see you're motion this guy over. They want to blitz me crazy. Still on them quick reads. Money in the bank. Now, I will tell you guys that, you know, I do have another setup for this play. So, the other setup for this play is a bit different. We're going to go ahead and do a flat on the left receiver. Again, a flat on the right receiver. And again, this is another reason why I really like having the post flag elite guys. Because when I actually want to run this as a corner route, I'm going to motion this flat out. And you guys are going to see, if you have the post flag elite here, and you throw, even if you don't, but if you throw a low ball to that guy, he is going to be open 9 times out of 10 against every zone coverage in the game. Um, this was a cover 4. You're going to see that there's a soft spot to throw this at every point. The only zone that defends that decently is a is a uh, is like a, kind of like a vert hook right underneath it, but it still can get open and you can still throw that. But that corner out is a very 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 one of the better corner outs I'd say in the whole game because it is such a quick breaking one that zones just do not defend it well. So like here you're going to see this is actually a, what I was exactly talking about, a vert hook. You guys can see that the vert hook covers it initially, but if you wait for it to get past the vert hook, when we motion that flat out to the sideline, that's going to take the flat zone defender out wide. So all we have to do at this point is basically just wait for it to get past this vert hook right here. You guys can see I'm starting to throw this low ball and possession catch it. And they're not going to be able to defend that. Again, that's going to have to be user guarded. I mean, it's even such a quick corner route that if they try to man him up, this is one of the best corner routes in the game. It's going to get great separation. Now, again, if they try to use that, that's why I love this play. You have this guy right here. That's an easy throw and catch again. Vert hooks normally do defend the running back wheels pretty well, but this one is just a little bit different. It is such quick breaking and cutting that it pretty much is unguardable unless user as you guys can see look they're never going to be able to guard that with the low ball you're going to have to use that every time which is why i like this play so much is because it doesn't really matter what zone even if they man him up like you guys saw i think i manned him up earlier in this video and he got wide open so that's a very easy easy read so we got two money reads on this play now this next concept I'm about to show you, you could technically do from many different plays. Um, you could do from X drag trail if you don't have any sort of ability to hot route your player onto a post. Um, because X drag trail already does have a post route. But say you're going up against a 7 man blitz like this, right? This next setup I'm going to show you is perfect for 7 man blitz. It doesn't matter if they're in you know, cover 4, man, cover 2. It really doesn't matter. Guys, I do want to remind you that... Part of the big benefit of this formation is that they're never going to be able to just come out in like big dime one four six or formations like that because we do have two running back personnel. So if we saw that, we could auto obviously audible down to I form. So they're gonna have to stick in three four type looks, right? Which makes it really easy on us. So something I will do when I see when I know that they're doing this is essentially two different things. First of all. Like I said, if I don't have the tight end apprentice or slot apprentice to hot route a post, I'll just pick X drag trail because it already does have a post. But then what I'm going to do is one of two different setups. I'm going to max protect to get my running back on each side of the block. And then I'm going to do a hitch to the left receiver. And then sometimes I'll do a dual hitch. I'll do a dual hitch to the right receiver too. But then the other thing I mix in is a motion slant. And again, this is predicated on you know them continuously running seven-man blitzes. The reason why I like this so much is that the hitch routes on a low pass, that's a free, no matter what coverage they're in, and whether it's cover two like we just were, whether it's man, whether it's cover four with deep zones, that's a free five, six, seven yards, which you know potentially obviously could be more if they uh, if we break the first tackle. Now here, this is man to man. Just to show you guys what I'm saying, like you don't even necessarily need anything, you know, as far as different uh you know abilities for a hitch i mean it's just literally a hitch it even beats man coverage with a low ball you can see what i'm talking about there while you might only get five six seven yards on average there's definitely gonna be times against a heavy blitz you make the first guy miss you might be able to score a touchdown or at least get a big game now that's you know the double hitch i definitely like the double hitch because you know first of all the hitch is going to do two things first of all it's a quick read but also it's going to open up our post route to our our tight end or our slot receiver coming across the formation but the other thing is if we do the motion slant 
Now we have even another read. So they got to guard that motion sled right off rip. And they, they're they going to have to use it that every time, whether they're in man, zone, it doesn't matter. So we throw that motion slant in, whoo, you know, it's going to get deadly because now they cannot just sit over the middle and try to use or guard the post. No, they got to worry about the hitch, the motion slant. It's a lot. Now, another thing I'll even do from time to time is motion the hitch out to act like I'm about to do a motion slant. It's still going to get open. Look at that post, easy throw and catch. This is just a really, really simple way to attack the seven-man blitz, whether it's man, zone. We can do it from cover four. It's going to be easy to beat. Okay, so anyone who wants to blitz seven at you is going to have a hard time in this formation. Guys, um, you know, you can use... Again, if you have the dashing dead eye and the escape artist, I'm about to even show you something else you can do that's really deadly. This is my favorite play probably to attack blitzers because there's just there's just so much you can do. So here's cover four, blitzing based. You guys can see. Again, super easy, guys. Very, very easy. Now, let's say that they're blitzing crib at us, right? Okay. And we want to do something different. Well, the great thing about this formation is, like I said, this this formation, you know, you can have great blocking. You have the running back and fullback blocking. So, um, with the running back and the fullback blocking, it gives you the ability to roll out to either side very easily. So here, you know, let's say that I, I want to throw a corner out in the mix, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and put him on a corner out. And guys, what I'm gonna do is, if I want to make sure that they basically whichever side I want to roll out to, I'm just gonna ID that outside linebacker. And that's going to allow me to roll out. So now, you know, I can do some motion. I could I could do a motion slant, you know, whatever I want to do, a motion drag. And guys, you're going to see that guy's going to get blocked. I can roll out. And now I can throw this corner out at will. Now, the great thing about this is if you have the slot apprentice to where you can do the corner out to either side, you guys can see, like, here, we're going to do it over to this way, um, to our left outside receiver because I do have slot apprentice. As you're going to see that, I can definitely do that because I have slot apprentice here. So I can go ahead and max protect. Now if I want to roll out left, I slide right and then ID the blitzer on the left. I'm going to hot route my corner out. And you know, whatever I want to do past that, that's all on me. Um, but you're going to see we're going to get that block. We're going to roll out, throw that corner out right behind the corner. And it's an easy dot. You guys see I had a drag coming over the middle of the field too. So that could have been a good read for me as well. Um, but, you know, just a very easy formation to attack the blitz from. So you can mix in the rollout corners, but, you know, we can see we have plenty of other reads we can use on this play to just simply destroy them. Now, now that we've shown you some good blitz beaters and some good ways to attack, you know, any zone coverage, I do want to show you guys a few more bombs over the top. So let's get back into the X drag trail. This is going to be a bomb for cover three. So I've already shown you how to bomb cover three on the two receiver side of the formation earlier in the week. Um, now I'm going to show you guys how to bomb it a different way. And we're going to do it to this deep post route on this side of the field. So when running this setup, you want the two receiver side of the formation to be on the wide side of the field. And you have a few different ways you can do this. So you can go with a max protect look where you're only sending three out. And if you want to do that, we're just going to go at max protect. And then what we're going to do is we're going to throw a corner out to our left receiver. That's why, like I said, I would definitely recommend having this guy have the slot apprentice. So you can hop around the corner. And then what I like to do is you could put this guy in a corner too if you have a route cam on him to kind of distract the user to worry about corner out over there. Or you can just put him on a hitch route. And when you put him on a hitch route, his hitch route obviously is going to be the shortest route on the field. So you can playmaker that hitch. You can use that hitch as a playmaker to really draw the attention of the user. I put a tip of how good the playmaker is very recently. As you guys can see, the post here, it's an easy bomb for a touchdown. Um, I threw it a second late there, so you know, instead of being able to turn it up field, you know, I, I caught it and went out out of bounds, you know. Unfortunately, you know, you want to score there, but you know, we'll definitely take that too, because that's giving us a first down and goal to go situation. But if you throw it a little bit quicker like I do here, you guys can click on rack catch it and take it into the end zone. That's an easy touchdown. The only way they're going to be able to counter that is if they're playing cover three anyways is if they put a deep half on their outside corner on the outside left of the screen the side we're trying to bomb to that's the way you counter cover three bombs the problem with doing that though is a deep half is probably the worst zone in the game when it's a corner out i mean you don't even have to roll out because the deep half will respect the bomb and it will not get beat over the top. But by doing that, it's going to be nowhere near guarding the corner. Right? You guys can see here, 
before, he was coming up on the corner out, which is what let the bomb get off. But if they do the adjustment to put him on a deep path to where you can no longer get the bomb off, now they have no shot to stop this corner out, okay? Because it's just going to break off and it's going to be an easy throw. Now, you might say, what if they move uh, their outside linebacker out over there in a cloud? Linebackers just don't really cover the sidelines well. If that was a slot corner, it would be a different story. But, again, you can't really run formations like that against this formation because we can just audible down and kill you with the run. Now, you can do more than that on this play. Like, if you want to hit them with something else to where they have to worry about more routes um, than just that, you can definitely still do the corner route and do, like, a flat wheel with this guy. Uh, so you can motion this guy out with the flat wheel concept. So now that they have to worry about the running back out of the backfield as well, you know, that's a very easy thing to do because now they're going to have to use with that, worry about that too. And then that also gives you quick reads. So maybe they're shedding and you don't really have time to uh, hit that bomb. Well, you can hit the running back out of the backfield. So that's a one bomb play. I want to show you another bomb play. So HB wheel is another way you can bomb cover three. And this time we're going to be doing it to the single receiver. So he's going to be on the deep post. We're looking to bomb. This formation has so many bombs, it's very, very difficult to defend all of them. Um, because now, look, now we have a deep post to our left receiver. Now, so we already have a corner out to our tight end. That's going to allow us to bomb. So, like, I could literally run this play stock against cover three, and it's going to be a bomb, as you guys can see here. You can see that the corner out draws up that zone on the outside third, on the right side of the screen. I'm able to easily hit that post over the top. Now, for these bombs, it is ideal to have fast receivers and have a quarterback with high throw power. But, I mean, you can see here, Thielen, he's not all that fast. And, you know, I was easily able to hit him over the top for that one-play score. And this is just running at stock. This is actually a really, really good play, and it's probably the play I recommend coming out in if you don't have it in your audibles. Um, if you guys missed it yesterday, I'm going to show you one more time here how this corner plays it, but... He's going to play this corner out. You guys see, he's kind of respecting the corner out. That allows, as soon as you see that, the deep post to run right by him for the touchdown. But um, if you guys looked at my audibles yesterday, you will remember I have mesh. Um, you see the touchdown. I have mesh. I have, um, let's see here, extract trail, PA, the play action play, and then also... Uh, why out so if you're gonna have those audibles i'd recommend coming out on hb wheel so you have all the pass plays i like to use at any given time now again you don't necessarily need all these routes like you could very easily just have the corner route and then like you know just do a motion slant or just just whatever you want to do you could even motion this guy over on the end route do a wheel route concept with your running back you know, you could do something like this. Now the running back out of the backfield is an easy read. Bam. Um, you know, but you still do have the bomb. So, you know, you, you can do many different things for the bomb. You don't need any routes on this play, honestly, to get the bomb off. Other than you do need the corner out and the deep post. But past that, you could literally run whatever route concept you want. Like, again, this wheel route with the motion over in route that's going to turn into an out route. You know, that's a good concept because now we have to worry about the running back out of the backfield. Um, we still have the corner out, drawing up that zone, which allows us to bomb over the top to the post for the one-play score. So this is just a really good money play in general, though, guys, because, you know, it's a cover three bomb. But, you know, if you run it against other coverages as well, you'll still have things open. Like, one way I like to do this a lot against other coverages is just the exact thing I just showed you just now but maybe a motion slant instead. So like here, we're going to go ahead and snap it with a motion slant to Tyreek Hill. Just a quick way that's effective against any coverage because now, obviously, you know, I have the over the middle with the slant and the post. I have two wheels and a corner out. You know, two flats, essentially, a corner out, a deep post, and a slant over the intermediate middle of the field. It's a very, very easy way to attack any coverage in the game. So, now, guys, you have some bombs, you have some coverage beaters, you have plays that beat the blitz, and plays that will beat any coverage. And the best thing about this, guys, is if they want to play stupid defense, all you have to do is audible down into I form, pound them with some uh, runs. You know, this New England playbook has some good runs. I would actually say that the Miami playbook's runs from I form are a little bit better. But, I mean, New England has good runs, too. I mean, you can get in, you know, many... Any I formation, really, and you can find a, a, a run to pound the defense in if they're going to come out of the stupid big dime or, you know, things of that nature that are easily able to 
get ran on. So that's the beauty of this game. You have an all-out passing attack formation, such as the split close, but then also they can't really defend you the way they would like to playing such defense as Big Dime because you can audible down to I form because it's a two running back formation. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this game. Stay tuned. We're going to be back with some more great tips this week. Smash that like button. Show some love. 